Our 2013 CES coverage is powered by Ford. Go further. What's up, guys? Lou here, and I've got something cool to show you from the show floor here at CES 2013. It's a little bit different from what you're probably seeing in your YouTube feed right now. This is a police car from the future, and as you can see, it looks super mean from the outside. You've got the classic black and white styling, the big chunky black rims, as well as that big push bar on the front. But the story here is not about the exterior or the looks. It's actually about technology, because on the inside of this police car, it's very unique they've they've taken some cues from Tesla and put a massive screen in there a massive display which is touchscreen and it's connected to a PC which is in the trunk so that the there's no longer a need to have a laptop in the front of the car like previous old school cop cars used to have you've also got a big huge floodlight on the outside which is pretty straightforward but this one also adds a camera so whatever is being seen by the use of that floodlight you're also going to be able to capture video content of whatever it is that's going on out there on the inside as i said before the dash is dominated by this large touch panel which is connected to a pc in the trunk so there's no need for all that clutter of having a separate laptop uh, here is the keyboard this is the way you interface with that pc it looks pretty rugged and tough it's also got a trackpad there and as we move down we can see some of the communication aspects of the cockpit this is by motorola as you can see from the logo right there the back seat has been improved apparently. You can see there's now a molded portion for where the criminal's arms will go. This is still not a place that I would recommend <laughs> wanting to sit in, but nonetheless, if you are a criminal and you are watching this, your life just got a little bit more comfortable. Not exactly luxurious, but a little bit more comfortable. On the top of the car, you can see there are solar panels, so the police are jumping on the energy efficient bandwagon. I'm not sure how these are going to be utilized. I'd assume probably to cool the cabin or maybe for some of the many electronics that are in the trunk here. This is where your PC is housed as well as your communications devices and there's a bunch of Ethernet cables, not sure if they're gigabit, but a bunch of Ethernet cables going between all the different devices so they can speak to one another. And there's probably, of course, video cables going to the front of the cop car to power that touchscreen display. Anyway, guys, something cool, something different from the show floor here at CES 2013. If you guys enjoyed this coverage, please remember to leave a thumbs up down below. And if you haven't yet, if you want to subscribe right now, do it for complete coverage from CES 2013. Sync is all about staying in touch, all with simple voice commands. You never have to worry about a phone call while driving with hands-free calling. If your phone rings, you can answer with the push of a button, and you can make a call with the sound of your voice. Unbox Therapy's CES coverage is powered by Ford. Go further.